Hey everybody, Retro Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to talk to you about what the best micro SD cards are for retro gaming. So regardless of what you're using, whether you're going with a home console setup like a Raspberry Pi 4, or you're doing a handheld like a Pow Kitty Odroid Go, or maybe an Ambernic product, you're going to need a micro SD card. Running any of these devices without an SD card is like driving a car without fuel. It's just not going to work. So if you jump onto Amazon or eBay or any online marketplace and type in micro SD cards, as soon as you hit that search button, you're going to get bombarded with thousands and thousands of different options for seemingly the same products. So how do you choose when you have thousands of different options for the exact same micro SD cards? Well, not all micro SD cards are created equal. So to make this really simple, you want to run away from anything that's not branded or is a brand name that you do not recognize. So you will find that there are thousands of different brands out there. And what this is, is typically it's going to come down to private labeling. What private labeling is, is that anybody can go to any of these manufacturers, place a wholesale order for hundreds or even thousands of units. And what the manufacturer will do for you is, is they'll ask you for a name or a logo and they'll just stamp your logo onto those micro SD cards. So it doesn't legitimize the brand by any means. It just means that somebody placed their logo or name onto those micro SD cards. If they're poorly made, it's just a poorly made micro SD card with a brand name stuck to it. So typically what I want to recommend is either going with Samsung or SanDisk. These are the only two that I recommend for retro gaming. They're both really high quality and they're both very similar. So I have used both brands over the years. If I had to choose one over the other, I would definitely choose Samsung's micro SD cards over SanDisk just because Samsung's micro SD cards are much faster. I do also find that they're a little bit more reliable. I have experienced corruptions on both cards, which is pretty common with retro gaming when you're going through your card and making changes. And a lot of times you're experimenting with your card and if you experiment with something and you do it the wrong way, oftentimes you will end up with a card corruption. So it is hard to compare different corruptions without knowing the true root of why the corruption was caused. But when using both products, I did experience more corruptions with SanDisk than I did with Samsung. So beyond that, both card brands offer pretty much the same capacity cards. However, the SanDisk company does offer 400 gigabyte micro SD cards while Samsung does not. So if you are looking for a 400 gigabyte card, SanDisk is gonna be the only option for that capacity as Samsung does not offer it. But Samsung and SanDisk do both offer 32, um, 128, 256, and 512 gigabyte cards. So that's pretty much it in terms of what your options would be with micro SD cards. I definitely would want to stay away from anything, like I said before, that is unbranded or is a brand name that you do not recognize as you will be taking a major gamble on whether those are going to actually work with retro gaming or not. So I do want to mention before wrapping up this video that there are counterfeit products out there for both Samsung and SanDisk. You want to do everything possible to make sure that you buy a genuine product. So I recommend purchasing off of Amazon because Amazon buys directly from Samsung and SanDisk. They don't go through third party distributors. So you don't have to worry about ever getting something that is a knockoff or counterfeit in any way. If you buy on eBay, there's a huge risk that you are going to end up with a counterfeit product. I myself went on eBay early on when I first got into retro gaming. I found a great deal, I thought. It was $5 less and I was gonna buy five different micro SD cards. All of them looked exactly like they should. They were Samsung or supposed to be Samsung micro SD cards. They had the exact same packaging. Everything looked great. I even reached out to the seller and said, hey, just wanna make sure these are 100% genuine. They reassured me that they were when they came in. They obviously were not because while everything looked great on the packaging, up close at the bottom, Samsung was spelled wrong. You couldn't see it in the picture. In fact, I think that they actually covered it up by overlapping the various cards to make sure that nobody did see that Samsung was spelled wrong. It was missing a U, I think. So you definitely wanna make sure that you don't go down that road. It was a really awful experience for me. I ended up having to wait like 30 days before I actually got my money back. So it did just cost me time and money. Eventually I did get refunded, but like I said, it was 30 days later and it was just a major inconvenience. I had to shell out more money at the same time to then go to Amazon and get the proper products that were 100% genuine. Certainly wasn't worth the $5 I thought I was gonna be saving. So don't make the same mistake I did. Learn from my mistakes, don't make your own. Buy them off of Amazon, you will definitely not regret. So if you are interested in purchasing either Samsung or SanDisk micro SD cards, check the description below, I'll put some direct links in there for you to jump over to Amazon and make those purchases. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around retro gaming. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.